In this video, I'm going to give you two of the most important ways to date with purpose as a Christian. Now, the first and most important way to date with purpose as a Christian is to know who you are inside and out. As a Christian, your identity is in Jesus Christ. And because of this, Jesus has given you a God-given purpose and a plan for your life. You should be dating with purpose and with integrity, and you should be intentional about the people you date and the people you have in your life. Your purpose should be rooted and grounded in integrity and character, and you should have goals that align with your faith. Now, once you have these goals that align with your faith and you find someone that you're interested in, that's when you need to verbalize these goals and these aspirations that you have. You need to have men or women by your side that will hold you accountable and to let you know when you're going in the wrong direction while dating. Unfortunately, Christian or not, in today's time, dating is so complicated because individuals have ulterior motives and they seem like they have your best interests at heart, but they're out to make themselves feel good in that moment. So you have to be intentional. You have to know what your purpose and your goals are before going into dating. And you have to verbalize these things to the individual that you're interested in. The second way to date with purpose as a Christian is to learn from all of your past mistakes and see them as lessons. I'm sure that there were some things in your past relationships that you're not proud of. Don't see those things as losses. Treat these learning opportunities as something that's important. And don't forget about the things that happened to you. Now, I'm not saying dwell on these things, but if you've learned from the mistakes in your past relationships, it will be that much easy for you to see these red flags from this person that you're dating right up front. And once you see these red flags because you've learned from your past mistakes, you will not be afraid to verbalize to him or her the things that you require and the things that you will not put up with if you two continue to date. That's very important that you learn from your past mistakes, that you learn from those relationships of your past that didn't work out and see them as learning opportunities in ways that you can get better and they cannot sway you either direction. If the relationship eventually does not work out, you will still know who you are as a person and you will still be intact and you will be strong emotionally and spiritually because you've learned from all these things that have happened to you in the past. Now, if you don't know who you are and you're continuously struggling in your dating relationships, I want you to continue to pray. I want you to have those strong accountability partners. And if you'd like a free one-on-one -on -one coaching session with myself, please email me at lifecoachjscott.com at gmail.com. Thank you again for hanging out with me in this video. I cannot wait to hang out with you in the next. Take care.